Inheriting the Recessive Link Disease Cystic Fibrosis by kscience.com Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease inherited from your parents. It is when mucus builds up on your vital organs and around your body. So too much mucus is produced, which reduces the functionality of your organs. That is the symptoms of cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is a recessive linked disease. That means it is linked to the recessive allele and not the dominant one. So if you've got big F, big F, that means you've got no recessive allele and you're normal, no disease. Big F, little f, you are a carrier. And little f, little f means you have the disease cystic fibrosis. You are a carrier if you have one of the recessive alleles and you have the disease if you have two. So what is required is two recessive small f alleles to have the disease. If only one small f allele is present, that means the person is a carrier of the disease. So what we've got here is a genetic cross. So you've got someone with big F, little f, and the mum with big F, big F. What we're going to do now is do a genetic cross. You can pause the video here to give this a go yourself. Two parents, one carrier, one normal without the disease, are going to have a child. So you put their potential gametes, the big F, little f, and the two big Fs on the side. Then do the cross, big F, big F, big F, big F from the mum and the dad. Then the mum gives the big F and the dad small F and the same for the last one, big F, little f. So now the answers. The normal, where there are no carriers, are the two big Fs. Remember, it's a recessive disease. So that means big F, big F is not going to be a carrier and their child will not be able to pass on any recessive allele to their children. So the percentage chance for a completely normal child is going to be 50%. So to identify if they are a carrier, they must carry at least one cystic fibrosis small f gene. So there are two of these. So therefore the chance of being a carrier is 50%. Now there is a 0% chance that there is a cystic fibrosis sufferer because there are no babies born potentially with small f, small f. So what happens if this person here, who is a carrier, has a baby with another carrier? So this person here has big F, little f, and they have a baby with someone who's big F, little f. Neither of them have the disease, but they're both carriers. Stop the video here to attempt this Punnett square. You start off by putting the big F and the small f on the top and left column and row. That is to symbolize what potential alleles the child can inherit. So you start off by doing the big F, big F cross. So that would be the big F from the mum, big F from the dad, then the big F from the mum, and the small f from the father. And then they do the same thing for the big F from the father and the small f from the mother. So this is where you can inherit cystic fibrosis because as you can see here, there are two small recessive alleles being given to the child. But the chances of having a normal child without it being a carrier or having the disease is 25%. This is because it requires two dominant alleles. So it can't carry a recessive allele. So the chance of having a normal child is 25%. So now what is the chance of having a carrier as a child? Well, as you can see here, you require one recessive allele to be a carrier. So the dominant allele is going to be dominant over the recessive allele. So therefore, two out of four is going to be the chance. So therefore, it's 50% probability that you have a carrier for a child. Now, having a cystic fibrosis child is going to be 25%. This is because it requires two recessive alleles, one from each parent. Pause the video here to attempt this exam question. The answers are going to follow straight afterwards. Both parents are heterozygous for the recessive cystic fibrosis allele. So both parents are big F, little f. And this is now how you'd fill in the Punnett square. So the answers are both parents are carriers. Both parents are big F, little f. Each parent passes on the recessive small f allele to the child. The child inherits two recessive small f alleles. The child inherits 
two recessive small f alleles. Therefore, it's a 25% chance of inheriting both of these alleles from the parents. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.